Well, hello Aries, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Jupiter signs. So welcome or welcome back Aries to all of your or to another of your readings I hope you are all doing so very well all of my readings are intended to be timeless meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message so use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you all right, Aries. Oh, I apologize. Getting a little too close to the tripod there. So let's see. Hold on. Oops. There we go. Get the switcheroo. Make sure things are good. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, Aries. Okay. Goodness, I gotta readjust myself. Okay, let's get your oracle cards out here for this week coming up. So, well, actually, as I said, all of my readings are intended to be timeless. So, whenever you are finding this video, yes, is when you are meant to hear the message. Also, the week can be for however it applies to you the week that you are experiencing or the week that you have already experienced so however it works if this is best for you in hindsight then <laughs> great as well so yeah okay let's get your tarot cards for <sighs> your oracle energy is perfect oh i like that Oh, that one came out right there. Okay. All right, Aries. So as I am recording this video, today is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day if you are an Aries and you are a mother. So, yeah. Happy Mother's Day. All right. So, Aries, your animal spirit for this week is the dove spirit. Be peace be peace so look at this sweet dove the dove has a crown on it's card number 21 and i'm feeling that um you know that like turning 21 like going and being like free and like uh yeah the feeling of what it how it feels to turn 21 so yeah be peace so let's read what the book has to say. Dove spirit, be peace. With her peaceful cooing, the gentle dove spirit invites you to embrace the energy of peace and allow compassion to warm your heart. You always have the power to generate peace within you, and the appearance of dove spirit is a reminder that today and every day is a good day to meditate to quiet any turbulence within as you embody tranquility. Above, below, and all around you, much may be happening to distract you, but you are called to engage it with the heart of a peacemaker, asking yourself, what would peace do? Can you agree to disagree? The peace you seek rises within and spreads out into the world as the Spirit sends her messenger to remind you of the beauty of a harmonious existence with all that is. How beautiful and powerful is your compassionate heart. Oh, I love it. I love that. So, yeah, Aries, be peace this week. Or, yeah. I feel that there's just something within you this week that has felt that you should be peace. So either you, you know, cultivating your own peace or, you know, sitting in your peace in a chaotic situation. So um, let's like there is like darkness here around this dove as well. So it's like being willing to be the light in the darkness, being the peace. So 
That's beautiful, Aries. I love it. In your recent past, you have surrender. Card number 26, surrender. I love it. So, Aries, you, I'm feeling, have been doing the work that you need to. So you have surrendered to whatever it is to take you into the light. Like, look at, you can see, like, her face is illuminated in the light and she has her back to darkness. So the same like the dove, like these color schemes are kind of the same if you notice, but like the dove is in the light and so is her face, her or his face is in the light and back is to shadow, you know, your back is to the shadow because you know it's there, it's just not... Is you're just not afraid of it because you are being illuminated anyways. And so once the illumination, um, once it shines onto the shadow, the shadow no longer is there, right? So, yeah. So I feel that in your recent past, you have surrendered to whatever light you needed to so it's different for everyone and you know on different levels so but that's beautiful you surrendered and I love it and your tarot card is the nine of pentacles with comfort comfort and yeah doesn't she or he look comfortable like in this light so it's like you turned to the light, you surrendered, and you found comfort in it. You realized that's where you belong, where you needed to be, was here in the light, in the warmth. And turning your back to shadow, realizing that shadow only had your attention because you were turned and looking at it. But as soon as you chose to turn around and be illuminated by the light, you found the true comfort in that. So, wow. I love it. Ah, in your present energy, Aries, you are in wisdom. You have wisdom. So, this is card number 22. So, this I'm feeling is, you know, the double numbers are master numbers. So, this is you mastering something. And twos have to do with partnerships, um, relationships, you know, um, like it could be work, it could be a romantic relationship, it could be family, however it applies to you. But I feel that right now you are stepping into this wisdom. Like, look at she has stacked all the books and she is reaching for what I'm feeling is like she's reaching for like that final answer. She's looking to get that answer, but she doesn't realize that it's all in all of the wisdom. So yeah, you are realizing how wise you are right now. Like you are seeing your own wisdom. You are seeing all of the work that you have been putting into yourself and what you have been feeding yourself. And you are stepping into an energy of mastery. And that's beautiful. Wow. And you have the Ten of Swords conclusions. So, yeah, like absolutely you are to your conclusions. You are to the end. The Ten of Swords is like the last, um, uh, like if this is like in regards to like partnerships, like this is the last straw or like the last that you are even taking of any treatment that was not for your highest good. You are at the end. You're at the 10. There's no more of that. This is coming to, this has come to a conclusion. This is to the end. So that's why you are in this mastery right now because you have come to the end of it. So I love that. I love it. Wow. I love it. And moving into your future energy, Aries, you have resistance. Resistance. <laughs> Waning Crescent 2. Resistance. So what I'm feeling with this is moving forward, Aries. I feel that 
uh, you are still, it feels like holding back a little bit from stepping into your full potential. Like it's still, there's still some resistance there and there's just still some healing that needs to, you know, be done in order for you to, you know, release and step into your full potential. But that's why you are being guided to be peace. Because when you are, you know, in peace, then you can relax your hand a little bit and not be in so much resistance. You can be in the flow of, uh, yeah, just be in the flow of the energy. So I feel that stepping forward, you will experience some resistance, but it will only be temporary because you know that what is coming for you is what you have earned and it's what you deserve. And so the resistance that you carry is your own, of course, and you have control over when you release it. So that's beautiful. I love it though, because we all experience that. Like, you know, we always experience a um, a nervousness in moving forward when it's something that we don't know or if it's something new or, you know, we know it's going to take us to a different level. This is, it's absolutely normal. So just know that it is temporary. And yeah, <laughs> and your tarot card is the fool with change. So yeah. It is the resistance kind of to change, but I feel that you are going to make that leap. You're going to take that leap because I'm hearing like you see what the, what always going against yourself or, you know, what holding back has gotten you. So it's time to do something different and step into the true change, the true zero. So it's like you're going from the 10 right back to the zero and you get to choose. You get to release this resistance and start a whole completely whole new path in a energy that you have never been in. And that's amazing. Amazing. So... Wow, Aries. So this has been your reading. I hope you found something that you resonate with. And if you did, then please remember to, um, yeah, to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. So thank you so very much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in your next one.